welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe, notification bell, share, like, tell a friend. Hi, welcome to the channel. We had it again, making it happen all day, every day. So today we're going to make Jamaican style KFC, but really I'm calling it BFC, Boca Fried Chicken, but you guys can call it KFC. You know what I'm saying? With a little bit of twist to it because I'm going to substitute some ingredients that we use in Jamaica and I'm going to introduce some maybe a Spanish ingredients, you know, maybe, you know. Let's check out the ingredients, all right? See what we're doing right here. So um, today we have all the seasoning right here. And if you check this out, I'm using a teaspoon of everything right now except the salt. The salt is a teaspoon and a half. And the reason why you guys already know, if you're watching the channel, I'm using kosher salt, which is a little bit less salty than iodine salt, okay? Because iodine salt is a little bit more saltier. This kosher salt has really got no nutrients value to it because there's no iodine in it, okay? So I'm using a little bit extra because it's a little bit less salty. All right, so I got teaspoon brown sugar you can use a darker one if you want but this is the only one i can use right now i got a teaspoon um onion powder and i say i'm going to switch out the cayenne pepper i'm going to use some chipotle pepper okay it's kind of a, a little bit spicy than the cayenne pepper but it's give off a really good flavor they use it into a lot of braising you know and a lot of like cooking in the spanish kind of cuisine like and we, we got some oregano right here Teaspoon oregano, teaspoon black pepper, teaspoon um, garlic powder. So what we're going to do now, we're going to mix all this together, okay? And we're going to use half to marinate the chicken and half to go in the mixture, which we're going to use for the mixture. We're going to show you. We have um, cornstarch to make it a little bit more crispier than normal. We got AP flour right here, all-purpose flour, which is white flour. So we're going to make it more crispy by adding a little bit of cornstarch into the mixture. And for cornstarch flour, use two cup of AP flour, one cup cornstarch, okay? That's the ratio. You can't go bad. And if you're using one quart of this, you need two quart AP flour, all right? And they go bigger and bigger, you increase it like that, all right? And you know, you're always going to put a little bit of the VIP, you know what I'm saying, marinate in it. I'm going to put a tablespoon of it in it, you know what I'm saying, to kind of catch up the flavor because you know we're going to need that authentic flavor in there to bring off that Jamaican thing, all right? So this is my chicken right here, okay? I'm gonna show you a little trick with the chicken later, but let's mix the spices together. We're gonna put all the spices in here, all right? And we said before, we're gonna use half for the chicken and half for the, the dredge or the flour mix or whatever you guys call it, okay? So you gotta make sure this thing mix properly all right you don't want to mix half and half you want to mix properly so all the ingredients in here is mixed together evenly so when you you know everything get oh that smells real good yeah and if you don't want to use onion powder or garlic powder you just can chop some or puree of some garlic fine as possible or you know some onion fine as possible add it to it but you know for the real flavor to get the real kind of KFC or BFC taste, you want that, okay? All right, so that looked real good. And as we said, we're gonna use half of that, all right? So let me show you one trick that we normally do with the chicken. You know, my cousin used to work at KFC, so you know what I'm saying? He give me a little bit of tip and show me some stuff. So normally, you know, in everywhere we work, like this piece of bone right here, you wanna break it out, like that. hold two like that and break it out. It's easy to come out. And you can push it right back in and it's back in. All right, we're gonna do another one and show you. All right, just hold it like that. Hold right here and hold the other part of the bone up here. Break it out like that. So it's easy to cook because this part is have a lot of blood in there. So you wanna make sure you get that part to cook. Put it back in and it's back in, okay? So for what I'm doing now, I'm cooking five um, quarter chicken. No breast because we don't really like breast that much. We are more leg and tie you know we like the dark meat more than anything else so that one is breaking out as well let's see this one too so the hole right here right here and let's pop it out like that this is going to make your chicken fry five minutes quicker than it normally should okay 
So one, two, three, four. Yeah. So that's it. That's good. That's good. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start add some spice to it. But first I wanna put a little this green the secret you know, ingredients in here. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the oil out of it as well. You know, dump it in here. Yep. And as we said, we're gonna use half of this, okay? So I'm gonna use half of this. Let it all fall on it. And we're marinating this for 24, okay? So that's the rest of it gonna go inside the flour mix. You know, if you wanna add a little bit more salt to that, you can as well, all right? So I'm put on some gloves. And we're gonna massage this in. We're gonna get some of the spice under the skin as well. So that flavor can go all into it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Which is right. All right. So, massage that in, you know. Get some under the skin too. Ooh, smell real good. Flavor profile is here. Yep. Uh, some under the skin as well. See that? Mm -hmm. Some under the skin as well. Like that, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna marinate this up for 24 hours. We're gonna let it sit. show you guys a little trick with this when we're frying it so it doesn't prop up and burn you you know what I'm saying trying to get rid of all the water under the skin I'm gonna show you to do that all right yeah. put some of that in here too this smells real good and you don't have to get all the excessive fat off it you know what I'm saying you can leave a little bit of fat on it as well you know, normally I take all the fat off, but I leave a little bit like just a little touch on it. And you know what I'm saying? Some little bit right here on it as well. I didn't take everything completely off a little bit right here as well. Yep, so this gonna stay here. And it's gonna stay marinated for 24 hours, okay? That's the secret, you know what I'm saying? When you're making fried chicken BFC way, okay? Yeah, KFC style. They normally don't let it sit for 24 hours. They marinate and fry right away. But BFC style, we're gonna let it sit. Marinate for 24 hours. So, all right, guys. When we come back, we're gonna show you the finishing touch on that. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna show you the kind of oil we use to fry it as well. So all of that. Pull the skin back over, you know. Yep, that look good, nice. All right, so when we come back, we're gonna show you what's going on, some technique and some touches, all right? So all right, so we're gonna make the, the flour for the um, BFC, KFC, you know what I'm saying? So as we say, gonna be a two to one ratio, so two cup flour. One cup cornstarch. You want to make sure that mix in the right way. So I'm going to get a little spatula, or whatever you guys call it, and we're going to fold it in the right way, okay? So the cornstarch just to make it a bit more crispy. And um, you, I'm gonna probably just do a wash for it tomorrow. I'm thinking about maybe a straight water wash or like a egg with a little bit of milk wash. 
I'm saying? So we're going to figure it out. So the rest of the spice, you're going to dump it in here. Because you want both the flour and the chicken to have the same taste. Because you don't want to just not season the flour as well, okay? It's like you have to season the flour. So everything is kind of taste, you know? On point. You don't want to be like, you know what? I'm just going to season the chicken. I'm going to make the flour stay plain. No. Flour got to get seasoned, okay? This is BFC style. They got to make it happen. Yep. All right. So that look good. You can see the flour doesn't look as white as it was before. You know? And if you want your to be spicy, you can add some more seasoning into this, but this is perfectly you know, set up. So, yep. Make sure you get everything out of that in here. You don't want nothing to go to waste. This is going to be the flavor, all right? Okay. All right, so when we come back, we're going to give it some finishing touch. All right, so let's get it started. As we talked before that, you know, last night, we made it in chicken, 24-hour marinade. The chicken right here, all right? So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna get the aisle going. So I got a little bit of grape seed, a little bit of vegetable oil, because we're gonna be fried on the stove. So I wanna make sure that I'm gonna get the aisle going and then we're gonna bread the chicken. And the chicken, we're gonna use a little bit of milk to bread it, so we're gonna double bread it. You don't really have to double bread it, but we're going to, all right? You wanna make sure you have enough oil so the chicken kinda of don't when you sit on the pan, all right? Grapeseed oil. You can put as much oil as you want, and you can reuse this oil in the future, all right? And this grapeseed oil right here got a very good burning content, right? So you can have it and you know, burn it for a while and it's not gonna start smoking. You know what I'm saying? This one will smoke at a lower level than this one. This one smoke at a higher level, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, so I'm gonna put this on the stove, turn it down. We're gonna try to get this at 300. I got a thermometer right here and I'm gonna check it, all right? To see what temperature it is. If you are a fryer later, you can just set it at 300 and then I'm saying finishing touch and move it to 350 to kind of get the color on it, but you want to start cooking at 300 so it soaked the chicken within, all right, inside of it. Okay. So let's put this on the stove. Okay, so that's going. And we have this right here. We're going to start to bread the chicken. We're going to put back, put it back right in there, okay? And if you guys noticed last night, we already seasoned this up, all right? So. We're not going to show you all the bread, all the chicken and all of that, so I'm just going to set up one and then we're going to take it from there, alright? I'm going to show you how I do one and then I'm going to finish all this off camera, but all of them is the same thing. Alright, when we come back, we're going to start the breading, I'm going to get the liquid, I'll show you we're going to do it, alright? Alright, so breading start now, so we're going to show you what we're going to do first, so as I said, this has been marinated from last night. Already 24 hours already. So, and off camera, I did grate a little bit of fresh ginger in my marinade to marinate up this as well. So, that's what it is. So, put it in a Ziploc bag. It's more efficient than a Ziploc bag. So, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bread a couple pieces and show you how the breading goes. Back and forth. So first, you want to go in flour, okay? You want to go in the flour first. Make sure it's fully bread coated on it. You know? And I put a little bit of salt in the milk. Normally, it's supposed to be an egg wash, but here's the individual in the house that doesn't eat eggs, so we're doing it this way. So. You want to knock off box some of the flour off this. You're going to drop it in here. You're going to knock off box some of the flour. All right, normally you could just knock your hand them together, hold two pieces together, knock your hand like that to get it off, but it's okay. 
just want to show you what's coming on so you want to put this in here you know? be quicker than normal pull this close up to the bowl back in the bowl and you don't have to worry about you're going to lose your seasoning right because this has been marinated for 24 hours so that's not going to happen for sure all right so that this is giving you a double bread you know what i say the cornstarch in here going to even make it more crispy so the twist is this is to add a little bit of cornstarch to it you know to make it a bit more crispy all right and you want to tighten the skin up so tighten the skin up so there is no water underneath the skin when you fry it it doesn't you know and i give the skin a little twist like you know, and put the bread on it so this is what i was talking about knock your wrists knock your wrists together I'm saying so you don't mess up the whole place with the flour. So if you notice, the bread is on point. You see that? Everything is fully coated. So we're going to finish bread the rest. So we're just going to put them in here. Then we're going to take them to the fryer later. And we're going to show you guys how we do it over there. Okay? All right. So when we come back, we're going to finish the bread. All right? Yeah. Stay tuned. So yeah, chicken is fully bread. So now we're going to test the temperature. You know I'm saying to make sure the oil is at 300 or... 325 you want to make sure that you don't want to get it over 350 because it's going to start burning real quick after it almost finished then 350 is the deal all right so we're going to go in here and test the temperature of the oil right now i turn it down a bit so it's supposed to be a little bit lower than what i want it to be all right mm -hmm. yep so that's 270 right there 280. Mm -hmm. Yep, so right now this is at 285. All right, so we're going to work with 285 and we're going to start dropping chicken in here right now. All right, so what you want to do when you're putting this chicken in here first, you got to make sure the oil is a little bit hot because the temperature is going to drop after you put all these chicken in here. That's why I recommend it when you guys doing this kind of... Just put the chicken on room temperature for maybe an hour before you start breading it. That's what I did. So we're going to start getting it in here going now. So let's chop up. Look like it's not hot right now, but trust me, it's hot. Drop another leg, a tie. Drop another leg. You know what I say? You know what I'm saying? Yep. So that looked good right there. So we're gonna leave that. Wait for it to come up. If you guys can notice already, it start bubbling. You know what I'm saying? Start bubbling the right way. You know, that's why you want it. So you don't want to bubble too vigorously. You don't want the fire too hot, as I told you before, because you're not really fry into a fire later. You want to burn the chicken if you don't put it in the right, con the right temperature underneath it, all right? So when we come back, we're going to show you, you know, the frying steps and what it looked like in maybe 10 or 15, 20 minutes. But this is supposed to take you, if you want to fry it outside, it's supposed to take you 45 minutes to, like, fully complete fry it. And if you fry it and it's getting too burned, you can turn your oven on 350 and finish it in the oven for 10 15 minutes, you know, it's easy. When we come back, we're gonna look at what it look like and the complexion and them and all of that, or color, whatever you guys call it. So, yeah, as we're talking about slowly, you don't want to over fry it. It hasn't got the color yet, but it looks like it's got the color. But we need a golden brown color in these. So, slowly, we let it cook slowly. And well, you kind of know when it's ready when the water is not so vigorous, like popping out of it. When you lose all the water from inside of it, you know the chicken is ready. Okay, so you can eat by looking into it. Or what you can do, you just break one in two. Make it easier for you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, which is right. We'll be back, all right? All right, so, after 25, 30 minutes, these are ready. I'm trying to make finish them into the pan, so I don't need to pop it in the oven because we don't have a really fire later. You know what I'm saying? So, they're looking nice right now. Especially the legs. I'm sure the legs are ready. 
So I put them on this um, sheet rack so it can drain. So you don't get the eye, okay? For the reason. Instead of you a napkin, you know what I'm saying, to, to extract the eye out of it, you can look at that. Look at the color. Nice, huh? Golden brown color. You see that? Let's get you a close up. Nice golden brown color. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Which is right. Look at that. Nice golden brown color. Can't ask for more than that, okay? So we're we'll putting them on a sheet rack over here. Very well crispy as well. You know? So you know the double butter really come out the right way. So we're going to drop some more in here. And then when we come back, you know, we're going to show you a plate up and let you see what it looks like. But fried chicken at its best. You know what I'm saying? Buka FC. You know we do all day every day, which is right. Alright, as I was saying before. Thank you guys for tuning into the channel. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you guys. Don't forget, you know what I'm saying? When I check the algorithm, there is more people that's not subscribed to the channel, viewing the channel more. So I'm asking you guys, please view the channel. You know, slowly but surely the channel is growing. I appreciate you guys for sticking with me throughout. So, as I say, BFC, KFC style chicken. Let's get into it. I'm going to show you what the finishing touch look like. And break one in two. And we're going to have a piece with you guys, okay? All right. So, yes, as you say, you know what I'm saying? BFC, KFC style, but we call it Buka Fried Chicken. You know what I'm saying? Because a little bit of twist. You guys saw me put the smoke paprika um, in there as well. A little bit of that smoked chipotle in there as well. So it kind of give you a different kind of smoky flavor. Bite into it, which kind of, you know, enhance, you know what I'm saying? That taste bud, you know, enhance the taste bud. Yeah, so, um, is it right here, you know, fried chicken at its best. It's simple, it's easy. You know what I'm saying? It all depends on your stove. It might take you 20 minutes to fry. It might take 30 minutes to fry. It might take 40 minutes to fry. But you want to start really slow. You know, and don't try to get it burned too quick. Start slow. Turn them over. Flip them back. Turn them over. Flip them back and forth. So, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget, hit that notification bell. So, when I do stuff, you guys can get it, okay? All right. Hi. Thanks for watching the video. We appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, tell a friend, subscribe, like, comment, share, all the above.